Another kind of demo that's interesting to look at is the one for the D6 joint. You can see that you can pre-configure the demo to lock and unlock different degrees of freedom for the joint, which kind of tells you what this is going to be about. So maybe let's uh, run it to see what's happening. And you can see that uh, you can't move this body relative to the other one except for rotating it along this length axis. And why is that? That's the Y axis here. So you can see there is a, the general joint properties that we have seen before, but then for the limit, we have this relatively long and complicated area. And you can see that the X axis translation, as well as for Y and Z translation, plus the rotation along X and Z are all we call locked. It's uh, locked because the high limit is actually lower than the low limit. It means that we are not uh, permitting any movement, but we are not limiting the, the rotation around the, the Y axis at all. That's why it's allowed to rotate around the Y axis. So for this joint, it's like almost like a joint construction kit. You can independently reason about each degree of freedom. Let's say that we want to get rid of, uh, or maybe not entirely get rid, but let's say also around along the Y axis, we want to allow translation from, let's say minus 10 to 10. And you can already see the visualization shows that some movement here opened up. And you can see in addition to being able to spin it, I can now also slide it. So now it became like a combination of a prismatic joint and a revolute joint in a single joint object. So this is often a useful one to use if um, you want to have some configurability inside your uh, particular joint.